only way to know if you have cancer is to have a biopsy. Talk to me about that, please. The problem with the biopsy is this. When it, when, if there's a tumor growing, the body you know, has a fibrin sheath around it. It's doing many things it can do to contain it, right? And the minute you break that sheath and you break, the, you break, it's like you broke the seal. Now it spreads all over the place. So you do spread it. I had a ballerina from New York City right after I moved to um, Arizona. She was with the New York Ballet and she came, she called me from there. Um, and she said, I had just had a biopsy. And around the, where they biopsied are all these little tumors now. And that's what's happened. So you unleash it. Now, but they say, but you need to have a histological diagnosis. We need path, path histology or histopathology. And with that, all that means, a pathological diagnosis means that a pathologist, a doctor who's trained in pathology, will look at the slide and he'll say, mm, yes, indeed, this is from breast and it's a, it's a ductal carcinoma. And that's what they say. That's the histological diagnosis. Now, does that help you? No. But what they, you have to understand, it's also part of the sales team. It's part of the sales technique. Because now they can say, because you have this particular kind, you need these specific drugs, right? So it's a way, it justifies those drugs. The federal, the FDA will have approved it. Your insurance will pay for it. It's the right thing to do. And you're going to do that. And what, what they're not telling you is that the research is showing that if you take these drugs, you're almost guaranteeing metastasis, almost guaranteeing metastasis. If you, if you did a biopsy and or a surgery, you're going to get metastasis. Now, if you add high-dose chemo, you're going to get metastasis. If you do radiation, you're going to get metastasis. So that's what happens. What they're looking at is giving you a short-term reduction of the primary. And then you think, oh, I'm in remission. Yeah, nine months later, it came back.